Good morning. It's uh, July the 21st, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of honey harvesting. There's not a whole lot, but we're going to do a little bit. We've got the high butler capping um, facilities here where we uh, are able to decap it here, and we'll, we'll set it on this little screw right here and uh, then we'll cut the cappings off. You can see that we've got a few cappings down inside. And then the, the uh, honey will run down in between that grate into the bottom one. And then the bottom one has a, uh, a gate, a honey gate, so that you can put it into jars. And then as you put it into the jars, there's a little filter. It's called, actually, it's called a milk filter, and they sell it there on Amazon. But this is the milk filter, and that's the only filtering that I will be doing with my honey so that it will be raw, unfiltered honey. That's just enough to get all the big particles out, but not enough to um, take the, the goodies, the pollen and the things that make uh, raw honey. What it is no heat at all to the system and so what we've got is we've got about eight frames in the hive butler that we brought in last night and we're going to start with that and see what we got and uh, when it stops raining we'll check the other hives and see if there's any more to do but this is just to start the process because it's kind of new to me i've never done it and we have just a few honeybees that we had left on the combs that I'm tossing them out the back door one at a time. Okay, well, let's see how this goes and I'll uh, do a little capping. If we can uh, get a, someone to hold the camera for us for just a minute while I cap this one honey thing. So just point at this right here and I'm going to stick it on here and I'm going to take the capping off of this frame of a uh, of uh, this honey frame. So what you do is you take a, and you cut it off like this. And that'll allow the honey to go ahead and run down into the decapper. And it keeps the cap, so it keeps all the capping separate. And then, um, after we cut off the big part, then we'll take the small little thing and we'll get the rest of the caps so that everything is decapped and we still don't mess up our, our uh, frame. Because what we'll do is once this is decapped and the honey runs out and we're all done with it, we'll take it out on the hive and the bees will actually clean it up. Okay, well that'll do it. Just give you a little little thing of how we're doing it and so as long as this uh the capping is about 80 percent then uh you can be sure that it's dried out good enough and so we're in good shape all right so we'll go ahead and finish the process and get a little update to see if we get a few jars out of it 